morning guys I have a fall themed autumn themed journal to show you this morning I used calico collage a digital kit and um, I've closed it with seam binding that I've coffee dyed and distressed a little bit with some ink I have used some beaded trim and it's a chocolate brown and I purchased that from Esme Mike and then this piece of lace wraps all the way around it's a real thick lace and then I have some burlap and then an old dolly on the front with um, some pieces from the kit and a cute little quote autumn is a second spring when every leaf is a flower on the spine I have used some sorry silk and then there's the fabric or the lace that I've wrapped around we have the um, burlap and then that is a journaling card from the kit it's kind of a soft but stiff cover um, I've used the brown paper that you get in a roll at Lowe's it's I believe called mas masking paper and then I've zigzagged a heavy watercolor paper that I eco dyed and I just thought that this this paper um, went so well with this fall journal and I have torn the pages and as you can see there is quite a few um, different elements that you can see and I followed Lori Girl on the Ridge and Maggie White their um, live tutorial they had a while back and I made a belly band and I've used one of the journaling cards and cut it out the fox in that and here I have just a plain little coffee dyed paper little book that you can write in has a little saying on the front and then there is a little um, sunflower and then a seam binding ribbon and I've used some of the digital papers in this as well and on this edge I've used some uh, cardboard a sunflower and then some very pale pink um, cheesecloth and then on the back of that I have added a little ticket like that was in the kit um, autumn little flag with some vintage fabric and then some cheesecloth that I coffee dyed on the back of the piece of cardboard and then on this page here is another little snippet and it's the autumn and the definition and then a sunflower a piece of the vintage doily with some cheesecloth and a piece of coffee dyed paper and there's the back of that one and on this page it was um, it got wrinkled and so um, I just glued it and made a little pocket and there's a little fairy with a sunflower and then here's a cute little journaling card on a piece of coffee dyed paper and I made just a little pocket there this is a piece of a little dolly and then up here I've used a mushroom and a little dolly with some cheesecloth and a coffee dyed paper underneath that there is a lot of journaling spot in here and here is a altered paper clip with the pumpkin and the definition of pumpkin spice and it is um, made out of um, I used a heavy uh, cardstock and then a vintage piece of fabric and then seam binding on the paper clip and then a cute little saying with some cheesecloth under that and here is more of that digital paper and down here is another snippet 
I used an old photo that it didn't come out and I didn't want to throw the photo away and so I just made a little snippet out of it with some um, book paper and a little piece of a um, applique and then there's some cheesecloth underneath Which page here some more drawing space and here I did the same thing I made a pocket and put this cute little journaling card in there and then down here on the corner is another snippet it is paper ruffle with a piece of lace and cheesecloth and then a definition for October with a vintage fabric bow and um, this page was uh, wrinkled up too and so I just glued this one down I didn't make a pocket out of this one and I made a little snippet here with the one of the journaling cards an old piece of that dually and then the word autumn and then on the back I've made this cute little journaling space here and then used one of the pumpkins that was in the kit and a little piece of cheesecloth and then this is the seam binding or the um, sorry silk that I used on the spine I just left it long enough where I could bring it in and tie it and then on this page here we have a little fox and he has some seam binding coffee dyed paper and cheesecloth under him and then this page here I altered I uh, cut out a sunflower and added some cheesecloth and a piece of the vintage doily and then here we have a vintage fabric ruffle with some cheesecloth and then I cut out the mushrooms from the kit and then here's another little snippet with um, cheesecloth and this was another little element of the kit here I've made a pocket with the it was um, a side piece you had two or three of these and a couple of them I just cut the elements out and used them on the front of the book but we have a piece of ruffled vintage fabric some cheesecloth a bow out of the same vintage fabric a piece of lace here and then this pretty side pocket and in the side pocket is this journaling card coffee dyed and then on the back side of that is the vintage fabric ruffle and then a little fox I thought he was so cute and then here I've done a lovely little snippet it's cardboard cheesecloth a piece of lace and then the um, definition of foliage and here is a little envelope that I've added a little snippet to here it's vintage fabric cheesecloth and uh, a little definition word there and then you open it up and there's a couple of little journaling cards in the pocket and I thought this was a beautiful page of the birds and then over here we have another one of those altered paper clips and um, we have a journaling card with the definition of fox and then this page flips up and you have journaling space there and then there's just a the top of that where I've made a snippet on the top of this page and then here is the the other side of that eco dyed paper and I just love how my um, pa eco papers turned out and then there's the back again if you've not subscribed please do thank you for watching my videos and have a blessed week bye